everybody, this week on ANN News Kids, we are talking about the Miami building collapsing, coronavirus statistics, Delta Plus coronavirus variant, and Ibrahim Raisi, Iran's next prime minister. The country of the week is Senegal, and congratulations to Raksha Bhatt who got it first. This week it's going to come after the teaser and the country of the week segment. Don't forget to write your answers in the comments below. In the Prayer to Career segment, we are talking to Alicia Molina, who works in NGOs in Mauritius and in Spain, and was also the head of admissions in IE, a business school in Madrid, Spain. The Extra Fun segment is all about the summer solstice or the June solstice, which happened on June 21st. We are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers this year, so it would be great if you could support us by subscribing, sharing, liking, and commenting in down below. A 20-story building in Miami collapsed in just 12 seconds on Thursday. It was a 40-year-old building and many people are trapped inside. Rescuers are desperate to find the 159 missing people and four people have already been confirmed dead. The building collapsed for an unknown reason and President Joe Biden approved an emergency declaration for Florida. The witnesses said it was like a bomb blasted and there was a huge puff of dust. Coronavirus cases worldwide are decreasing. There are about 181 million coronavirus cases and almost 4 million deaths. USA, India and Brazil are the top three countries with the most deaths and coronavirus cases. There are 166 million recoveries, which is 90%, 98% of the total cases. The Delta Plus variant is a mutation of the Delta coronavirus variant. It was first found in England in mid-June, but it seems like it has been there since April. Experts are, exp are investigating to see if it is easily transmittable and to see which are the symptoms and how it is worse than the Delta variant. There are quite a few coronavirus variants, such as the one in South Africa, Brazil, UK, USA, and India. The 60-year-old Ebrahim Raisi won Iran's national election, and he will be the next prime minister of Iran. He is the head of Iran's judiciary, and Iranians are criticizing him of his alleged role of the mass executions of the political prisoners in the Iran-Iraq war in 1980. But many people are also hopeful that he will be able to turn the country around. He said that during his term, he will change the country to fight poverty, corruption, humiliation, and discrimination. So we'll just start by, you can just start by introducing yourself. Okay, so my name is Alicia Molina. And um, even though I'm a lawyer, uh, I am currently working um, at an NGO named We Recycle Mauritius. Wow, thank you. And can you explain what you do in We Recycle Mauritius or your other job? Yes, well, since it's kind of a new startup, I am doing a lot of things. So the main thing that I'm doing right now is I'm managing all the social media of the NGO. Um, I do look for fundings for, for the different um, uh, projects that we have. I do plan cleanups at the beaches. Um, and currently I'm redesigning the web page. Okay, wow. Yes. And what made you change from lawyer to we recycle? 
Okay, so I'm from Venezuela and I studied law in Venezuela and I practiced law in Venezuela. Then I went to live to Madrid and I was exploring the NGO world, the non-governmental organization world, and I was in love. So I worked for an NGO in Spain for seven years. And then I decided I wanted to change my career. And I started working as a director of online programs in a business school in Madrid. And now that we came here to Mauritius, because I'm currently in Mauritius, I decided that I needed and I wanted like, again, start working in the NGO world. So that's how I become working with We Recycle Mauritius. Wow, wow that's amazing. Um, <laughs> Thank you. What did you, what do you enjoy the most about working in NGOs? Well, with this NGO particularly, or well, well with all of them, but with this one, what I love the most is that in Spain, um, the recycle world is very complete, let's say. So you don't have to think. You have all the bins and it says like plastic, glass, paper, cartons, and you just go there and you just place whatever you want to recycle. Here, that doesn't exist. So here, I had to start from the beginning, like learning the different kinds of plastics that they have here, where to recycle, what they recycle, what they don't recycle and the reasons. So I'm learning like a lot, yes. a lot. And it's incredible for me. It's incredible because um, I wanted to do something that had like an impact. And I think right now I'm doing it. Wow. And in Madrid, which NGO did you work with? I worked in Save the Children and Red Cross. Okay. Cool. Yes. Yeah. And yes. Do you want to explain a little bit about what you were doing in the business school in Madrid? Yes, in the business in the business school, I was for five years a program director or director of programs. So for three years, I was the director of programs of the master in management. Um, uh, master, the master. And uh, what I did is was I was in constant communication with the professors and the students. So what I did basically was like all the, their career path, I made it enjoyable for them. Let's say it that way for them. So I was in between the professors and the students. If they had any problem, I was there implementing new things, you know, always be to date. Uh, it was really nice. It was a really stressful job because I had like an intake, the September intake that it was almost 400 students all by myself. So that was a lot. And, and the last two years, I decided to change to online programs, to short online programs uh, for executives. So it was like a five week online program any kind of programs, digital programs, uh, sustainability, about social media, any kind of programs. I had a lot of students. It was a lot of work too, but everything was online. Okay. And I enjoy it like really, really a lot. It was really nice too. Yeah. And why do you think NGOs are so important in the world? Well, I don't know if they're important or not, but for me, it's really important because what I've been doing is all that is help. I love to help. Like I was the pillar in my family, always helping, helping my sisters, helping my parents in different ways. And I realize now that what I like to do the most is to help. So with the NGOs, like for example, right now in the NGO I'm working, like I train in schools, for example. So I love being with students and, and learning with them. And, uh, but basically it's that, the helping, helping people. That's what I love to do. Thank you. And what is your advice to kids? <laughs> I think my advice to kids is, to show them how to recycle properly would be the best way of passing the torch or the baton to them for a future and cleaner uh, world. 
because I think it's very, very important with all the situation, the pollution, everything that's going on, that kids learn how to recycle because you are our future. Thank you so much. No, thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. You like it? <laughs> yeah, that was it. very was good. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> yes, it works for sure. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Senegal est un pays d'Afrique du Est. Sa capitale est Dakar et sa population est d'environ 16,3 millions d'habitants. C'est le premier pays africain d'accueillir l'Olympique de la jeunesse, qui sera en 2022. Le plus occidental lieu d'Afrique est Dakar. Les deux plus grands explorations sont des cacahuètes et du poisson. Il y a un lac rose, Red Bar Orm. C'est rose à cause d'une bactérie qui donne cette couleur dans l'enseignement. Les Sénégaliens se ont des siècles de pierre, comme Stonehenge. Il y a 1053 siècles et 20 831 monolithes. Des baobabs et des lions sont les symboles du Sénégal. Hi everybody, this week on ANN News Kids Extra Fun segment, we are talking about the summer solstice or the June solstice. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's the longest day of the year in terms of sunlight. The June solstice is called the summer solstice. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it's the opposite. It's the shortest day of year and it's the winter solstice. The June solstice is when it is the sun is directly over the Tropic of Cancer. And the December solstice is when the sun is directly over the Tropic of Capricorn. It usually happens between the 20th to the 22nd June. But 20 seconds are rare. This year, it was on the 21st of June. Astronomers and scientists use this day to mark the beginning of summer in the Northern Hemisphere and the beginning of winter in the Southern Hemisphere. It's actually when the sun is furthest from the earth. Many traditions are celebrated during this day. Pagans still gather around Stonehenge in England and light a bonfire, celebrating the sun and asking it not to leave in the winter darkness. Western civilizations also call this day Midsummer, such as Shakespeare. And many traditions have celebrated this day through time, such as the ancient Egyptians, Aztec of Mexicans, Chinese, Red Indians, and indigenous Europeans. Thank you. <laughs>